But we're entering really a new era in oncology, and that is the era of cancer immunotherapy. We see that with the tremendous successes of checkpoint inhibitors or CD19-based adoptive cell therapy. I think the biggest issue currently and the biggest hurdle is identifying novel targets for cancer immunotherapies. The existing immunotherapies, although very successful, are restricted to certain indications. And for many, particularly solid tumors, there is not a sufficient number of targets that promise a high efficacy and at the same time are safe. So we have been engaged in the discovery of novel targets for the past 15 years. This goes back to the work of hans georg Gramensee at the University of Tübingen in Germany, who started working on HLA-presented peptides in the early 90s. Since then, we've established various platforms that allow us to access targets that are presented on tumor tissue and that can be seen by T-cells. So we discover what can be seen by T-cells, and these are short peptide fragments that are presented on HLA molecules. Um, in the past 10 years, we have identified millions of these uh, with so-called mass spectrometry-based methods. We believe the strategy could be applied to any cancer tissue. I think the current need is foremost actually in solid tumors, where there are very little uh, established therapies and very little promise also of many therapies that are currently being applied as standard of care. We are currently engaged in various solid tumors like renal cell cancer, colorectal cancer, glioblastoma, liver cancer and other cancers with very high unmet medical need. Basically we can access any tumor type where the surgeon re can remove tumor tissue and that is made accessible to us. We need bulk tumor tissue so that we can analyze with our mass spectrometry based approach. By this approach, in the last 10 years, we've gathered more than 32 million mass spectrometry spectra, hundreds and thousands of peptides for which we can select the ideal ones. So when we look at various tumors, one interesting finding is that those tumors that are lowly abundant, so that we've, those antigens, those targets that are lowly abundant, that we find actually in very few patients, sometimes are of enormous interest and promise and quality. And based on that observation, we thought, how could we actually apply rare antigens? And the best way how to do this is personalizing therapies. So we've started a new project called GAPVAC. This is an EU-funded consortium where we, together with partners in Europe and US, are starting currently a clinical trial for glioblastoma patients. Now for this trial, glioblastoma patients come in and we have a pre-manufactured shelf of over 70 different targets that are given to that particular patient based on biomarker analysis of that patient. So what we essentially do is adapt the vaccine, in this case, to the individual characteristics of the tumor of the patient and the immune system of the patient. This is a highly interesting project because it will show whether we can actually get to a better biological and eventually clinical efficacy if we actually adapt our drugs to the patient and not look for the patient that is fitting to the drug. So fitting the drug to the patient, not looking for the, for the patient that fits to the drug, I think is the way to go for the future.